we don't really know over the long term, meaning over months and years, if there is a benefit to consuming a very highly digestible, rapidly absorbed, good quality amino acid composition protein in the immediate aftermath following exercise. It sounds like it's still unclear if there could be a net benefit. So if a person listening to this says, look, I want everything in my favor to maximize my odds of, you know, optimization and maximization of muscle mass, I'm going to consume 25 grams of whey protein following every workout. Again, from a caloric perspective, it's irrelevant. It's 100 calories, right? It's like less than 5% of your daily intake, but it would arguably be the most uh, efficient way to deliver amino acids. Um, is there any reason not to do that? Let's just start with that. Is there any, is there any downside of, of doing that um, as opposed to going through the hassle of consuming a meal when you finish your training? No, on the individual, absolutely not. Uh, the only problem that I do have is that if you advocate too much to to use like like protein supplements and stuff like that, people do stop thinking about their food. Yeah. So we've had people coming in here saying like, "Oh, I, I'm really, really, I'm, I, I put a lot of interest in my nutrition and my diet," and then I asked them, "So how do you do it?" Yeah, I take 29 supplements. I mean, I want to just just first think about your nutrition, and if every meal contains good solid foods and with ample ample protein if you then on top of that decide that it's easier and more practical to take away protein supplements after training session be my guest yeah. but if all the rest is crap then please do not even consider those whey protein supplements because first think about your nutrition 